Hello you amazing hackers, it's great having you back again. Today I want to talk about OSINT a little bit. So I want to show you guys a few Google dorks some I use in my daily bug bounty hunting. So for example when I get a star.domain.com target I'll uh, go into Google and I'll first try to find all the subdomains. So the first thing I'll do, for example when I go to google.com uh, this, for example, can be my target, star.google.com. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just go to the site, double point, google.com, uh, and I'll first try to, so first you can see a few things here already, developers.google.com, sendatracker.google.com, uh, groups about me. These are all subdomains about uh, Google and you can all go to them now. Say for example I already saw the news.google.com um, and I don't want this in my search results anymore. I can just type minus news and I can just minus. I also don't want a www so I'll just remove that as well. So those are a few of the ways you can find some uh, subdomains. Now for example if I have a subdomain specifically so if I want to go, for example, to, let's go back a little bit, let's go to, mm, let's pick one from these, let's say sentatracker.google.com, that one sounds interesting. So I can see a few of the specific directories on there that Google index. So I can, for example, see Family Guide, I can see Reindeer. Re Reindeer, I think this is, sorry, Reindeer Runner. I can see a few of the um, few of the directories on the website. Now, say for example, I don't want specifically the family guide directory. I can again, or the runner directory. I can again do minus runner, and runner will be omitted from my search result. If I want one specifically, I can also use a plus sign. So for example, I can use plus family guide if I want the family guide specifically. Now of course that's going to not give me any results because it's, there we go, it's going to, uh, there are a lot of, there are not a lot of search results for that. Now uh, a viewer also sent in a few, um, a few Google dorks that I really liked and I would like to share with you guys. I'm going to try and put a screenshot uh, up right now. I hope that worked. If it didn't uh, I'll put it in the description as well. So what he sent in is uh, this one, so sitecompany.com and then in URL. <coughs> I like this one as well. So for example when we go to google.com we can also try in, we can try um, .php question mark id equals and you can put any parameter in here and you can also put any extension in here. If it's for example an ASP site you can put .aspx and you can put user ID in here, you can put password in here, any parameter that you want and you can try and search for it. So as you can see a few things popped up. Um, this can for example pop up some PHP pages that are not really available from the main website. Now the next thing I also want to show you guys is this one. So in URL he also showed me the in text one. The in text one is also useful so for example login what you can also do is in text admin uh, anything useful you can think of uh, that you can find in the text you can also do that in URL so again there we go in URL of course not in URL uh, you can do login in URL you can try many different things you can also try uh, portal.php in URL this will see if there are specific portals that you can go to. Um, you can also try register. And this one is a pretty uh, nice one. Sometimes Google will ask you to verify that you're not a robot because you're putting out a lot of requests. So uh, sometimes, for example, I'll run into a target and there's not really a regist registration page, only a login page. You can just use in URL register or something along those lines. And you can see if you can find the register page that way if you use the site one. Uh, so uh, the last one he showed me is also a pretty nice one. It's an in-text one again. 
in text and this one is to find any Apache uh, listing page so uh, index of slash and there we go so <clears throat> those are a few of the uh, Google dorks that you can do there are a few Google dark Google dark sheet sheets there are a lot of them available um, that you can try out um, this one I personally like uh, because it tells you all the different uh, search filters that you can use and of course um, like I said uh, before as well you can use all the tools that you want if you don't really know how to be a hacker if you don't really think like a hacker those tools won't really matter they won't make you a better hacker so uh, again I would really like to thank you Senho Senho sorry if I butchered your written name there uh, hard to pronounce for me uh, I'm also going to put it in the description uh, check it out I'm also going to put your Twitter handle in there so uh, thank you for those ideas if you guys have any ideas for in my videos or if you have any input uh, please let me know um, I hope I'll see you in the next video if you guys like this video please leave a like it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you in the next one bye